I've mostly been transformed just in terms of like my knowledge. I came into this in a very people-focused business. And so for me, it's very much been about building those hard tech skills in the computer science space, because I had it in other areas. I studied civil engineering in college, but very different from, you know, software engineering. My name's Dan Carbonell. I'm a member of the first Hack Reactor at Galvanized Cohort here in Denver. I've always been technical by nature. I studied civil engineering in college, went on to get an MBA afterwards, worked as an economist for the Department of Energy for a while, so I've done a, done a lot of things. Being the middleman between the dev and the client wasn't where I wanted to be. I wanted to be more on the creative side of actually kind of building the products. Being able to add things to my businesses that we didn't have before, and then being more on kind of the creative side of the house versus just being a coordinator. So that's kind of how I was led to the software engineering role. Being from Boulder, I knew the Galvanize brand pretty well. I actually worked at my last company with a Galvanize grad. He seemed to jump into the company and do really well right away. And so for me, it was really almost like a no-brainer. It's uh, that's all those factors really led to me choosing Galvanize. I know a lot of people come here with a tech background wanting to almost like up their people game. For me, it was really, how can I hone my tech chops and so I can take my previous skills, leverage them into something new. It's been a really collaborative learning style. That's been one of the best parts of the program is the community we built as a whole. There's eight of us, so we're like a tight-knit group. We've gotten to the point where, you know, our teachers are great, but we've gotten to the point where we're so close that we kind of go to each other for, for help. Our learning has been very much accelerated, I think, just by our camaraderie. If we were in, you know, a remote-based program where we didn't have this human element, this contact, I don't think that we would be as far along in the path as we are now. If I were to go back and do my like prep time again, I would definitely, I would do more studying on like data structures and algorithms, like some of the more computer science-y topics. In this program, we jump right into that in the very beginning. And so I think for me, having a little more knowledge base there would have been really helpful. Maybe focus a little more on just like JavaScript code wars type problems, a little more data structures, algorithms, a little more of those computer science topics, which are which are pretty heavy in the beginning half of this program. But I'd say if you feel really passionate about, you know, building the technology of the future, is you're gonna learn so much about, about how to build a product, how to take a product to market, how to deploy it, how to be a good team member. And so I'd say it's really all of the intangibles you get in a program, because you can learn the tech on your own, but all these other pieces, I don't think you can find as well on your own. So that's why you, you come to a program like this and just and immerse yourself in, in like the holistic experience. First and foremost, just need to have kind of the drive, the, the go-getter attitude, the willingness to kind of learn on the fly. And if you have all those things and really like the tech industry, then it's probably a pretty good fit.